Hello and welcome back to Ghost. Last time we managed to make it into the greenhouse and we have figured out that there are some sort of biological samples that we need to pick up as well as I believe it's a purple key that we need to find the remaining pieces for. So, oh my word, it's gonna be one of these rooms right off the bat. Okay, I'm fine with this. Incoming. Deploy the frogs! Combat frogs, oh my word, this is not the place to be standing. That was a very unfortunate place to choose to stand. How sad. I mean, at least it seems like we got things under control for the most part. I mean, there's not much that needs to be under control, but I mean, I'm not gonna argue about having too little of stuff to have to fight. That is not a significant issue, I would say. It's probably a good thing in the end. Getting close. Yeah, Houston, are you really getting close? Well, why don't you move a bit faster? Oh, what, we don't ever upgrade you? Is that gonna be your argument here, Houston? Buzz off, Houston. Don't put this on us, Houston. This is your fault, Houston. Oh my lord. What the heck is that thing? Is that a robot? Why do they build their robots in such weird shapes? Seriously. Caterpillar robots? Who thought that one up? Who? I don't even know. If we do find that person, though, I would like to have a stern word with them about making caterpillar robots. I don't think it's the best idea in the world. I think it gives caterpillars way too much uh, credit for the overall, you know, being caterpillars thing. They don't need that much credit for it. Okay. Oh, man. I see. So the energy cubes degrade and they actually give you less energy because of that. I didn't actually know that. We never left energy cubes so long they'd actually seriously degraded. Well, you learn some and I guess you lose some at the same time. Nope, don't even. I see all of you hanging from the ceiling. I'm sure that you think that your ultimate like some form of ambush flower things, but I can assure you that is not, oh, do we, are we poisoned? Do they have poison? I think they poisoned us. I mean, it didn't last very long, but I think it was still a thing. That is terrible. I do not appreciate being poisoned. Hey, stop fixing those. Come on now, I'm not having any of that. I would prefer that nothing ever get fixed around here. Oh, another, <sighs> prepare your butts. It's frog time. I'll disable the alarm. You handle the welcoming party. Yeah, Houston, that's just like standard maneuvers. You don't have to tell us to do that. I do that anyway. Oh, I see. So we kill these guys and it creates those... What are these things? Are they like canteen serving robots? Because they look like canteen serving robots. You could stick like a bowl in each of their hands and then just have them come up to you in like a canteen as a waiter and be like, Mmm, sir, you're a... Uh, mm, Okra and um, <laughs> zucchini soup is, has arrived. So, mm -hmm. Okra and zucchini soup. Is that any good at all? Let's just have a little thought about that. I'm not 100% certain that would be any good at all. I mean, I, I didn't intend for it to be any good, but at the same time, it would have been better if perhaps the thing we were being served was at least slightly delicious. Not the case. Not the case. Okay, what sort of achievement do we have there? Survive a level five alarm? That was a level five alarm? I mean, it felt a lot like the alarms that we'd had previously, and apparently those weren't level five alarms. Huh. Well, I ain't arguing with the game. They wanna give us an achievement? I am fine with that. Oh, hello. Don't even. Ow! Their bullets persist. I didn't know that. That is new information. What is this thing? Oh, it's a giant wall generator. I don't appreciate giant wall generators. That's not nice. Ow. Oh, and they shoot a cluster of bullets when we break them. Isn't that nice? Isn't that just peachy, absolutely keen? That's the worst. That is what it is. I do not appreciate that at all. Man, this place really has some pretty elaborate defensive programs, doesn't it? I mean, all of this stuff is a bit over the top. 
Especially for a space station. I mean, the fact that it's in space to begin with is already a pretty good security measure. I mean, I'm under the impression that this is not an era where space flight is super easy. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I have no indication of that. It's just kind of feels like that's the case. You buzz off. You're going down next. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I think... I think we can agree that things are going half decently at this point. Oh, look! Another one of the, uh, bio... room things that we need because stuff. I still don't know what Bugen wants to do with all of this stuff that we're going to get out of these things, but, I mean, if Bugen wants something, I'm gonna give Bugen whatever he wants. Because Bugen is just cool enough to roll like that. My word. Unending streams of spider squids. I don't appreciate it in the slightest. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank you, drones. You saved my life. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. Why does there have to be another one? I really didn't want there to be another one of these things in here. One, quite frankly, is bad enough. My word. Well, you know, they're not actually that hard to kill yield spider squids. They just take a little bit of time. So we will be overall perfectly fine, I would say. Oh my word, I can't get up there. Jeez. I guess I have to take the long route. I don't appreciate taking the long route. Any sort of little um, speed up of the system is always, always nice pretty much means that we, as a ghost, get paid significantly quicker than if we took the longer route, which I would say is 90% chance a good thing and 10% chance a bad thing. That's 10% chance only comes from the fact that there's a potential that we're being double-crossed at any moment. It's usually not a thing we have to worry about, but with Houston out here at this point, there may well be some significant double crossing going on because I don't trust Houston in the slightest and I think it's pretty obvious why. He's a pretty terrible guy. It's maybe the worst. You guys, shush, stop running at me as though you don't care for your lives in the slightest. Okay, how many samples do we have? We have exactly half of the samples that we actually need. Interesting, interesting. And it appears that this is some sort of, like, mock jumping puzzle. I'm guessing it was supposed to be significantly harder because we weren't supposed to kill everything as we walked through. Ooh, what's this? Lock for the inside. I'm not having any of that. Jeez. What is it? Oh, a little, a little shortcut. I mean, it wasn't hard to get there to begin with, so, I mean, I didn't really need a shortcut, but... If you want to give a shortcut, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't argue with shortcuts all that much. I do slightly argue with them, though. I mean, they they can be quite annoying on occasion when those shortcuts actually happen to be much more difficult than the original path. I don't know if you can qualify those as shortcuts, though. It's arguable. It depends on how much time they actually take. Sure thing. Hello. Where did you guys come from? I don't mean to be that guy, but I'm just trying to live my life over here. Ambushing me like that is not appreciated. We're probably going to die here, aren't we? That would be less than uh, amazing, because you know what's going to happen when we die? We're going to drop all of our samples. And I don't know if that means that we'll have to go back and kill all of the giant, like, sample-holding things again. Or if, perchance... Now we'll actually just have to come back here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we get a chance to figure out which it's gonna be, people, because we just got wrecked. That's not the best. Okay. Well then, let us make our way back down there. No doubt it is going to be a pretty quick walk back. Most of... Okay, um, wait a minute. There's a closer printer, isn't there? It's got to be a closer printer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took the completely incorrect printer. That was... 
That was next to embarrassing in how terrible that was. Okay. Here we are. I remember this place. We were here not but a few moments ago. A few moments ago when I was still alive. Ah, the, the days. The days when I didn't have my face beaten in by a bunch of terrible robot creatures. No, oh, not this room. Forgot this room was here. This is not going to be fun. It's going to take forever. So, you know, I'll see you on the other side of this, because it takes a while. Okay, so we made it back to this room. It just so happens that we do, in fact, have to go back and destroy every container for that organic sample stuff. So most likely what we'll do is clear this area for the most part, and then when we don't have to fight, like, through these rooms, which have a high chance of killing us, we can go back and hunt down all of those terrible organic matter creatures of death. Because that'd Sorry be great. That. Sounds like a much better it. idea. This is what I'm here for. It is what you're here for, Houston. It's probably the only reason you're actually here. Because I wouldn't keep you around if you weren't useful, Houston. I... I don't think it's actually a secret anymore that I don't appreciate you. Or enjoy your company in the slightest. You're actually quite terrible, Houston. I would prefer to have not known you at all. I mean, maybe at that point we're being a bit too harsh to Houston. That's pretty mean. I mean, that's a whole different level of just absolutely cruel. I mean, we can say whatever we want to to Boogan because, I mean, Boogan... Boogan understands that there's, like, workplace stress um, related to being with Houston. But we can't say these kinds of things to Houston's face. I mean, that'll just destroy any semblance of self-confidence that disgusting prick might have had to begin with. My goodness, how do we get... How do we kill that guy? Can we break the shield? I don't mean to be that guy, but I don't think I can get past him without getting hit. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. Ends up we could actually jump up onto this platform. I didn't know that was a thing. I probably did it numerous times, so I probably sound like a complete idiot in saying that I didn't know that I could do it, but I also couldn't be asked to actually remember anything. That was way too much effort. Way too much effort, people. My word, these things are unending. You kill one and there's another literally directly underneath it. That is the worst. And actually, for once, that might be the worst. Because the unending immortal legions are not a thing I ever wanted to have to face. My goodness. Okay. Where are we going to go? This way? I guess we'll go this way. I mean, each path is, like, equally good. Okay. We got another one of these harvesting machines. Which, as I said, we will just leave B for now. Good luck, giant harvesting machine. Oh, my word. Another one? Well, today seems to be the day where we fight a bunch of evil robots. I guess for dominance of just energy cubes? Do these guys want energy cubes for anything in particular? Or are we the only ones that actually want these energy cubes? I really don't know. I have no clue what sort of economy would occur on a space station that consists entirely of robots that seem pretty exclusively to be there for the defense of the station. I mean, I don't know what these robots were intended for if they weren't intended as a defense mechanism. I mean, it seems like the only actual application these robots could possibly have. Which is really weird, because once again, it's a space station, people. Do you really need to defend a space station that much that you need all of this stuff? My goodness. I don't even know. Anyway, Houston appears to be hacking the system pretty easily. So long as we just stick on this side of the room, we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And now we can just push in and destroy everything that's left over, which actually happens to be a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. That was a level 6 alarm? Yeah, I can tell. There's a ridiculous amount of enemies here. Deploy the frogs. Let's see if they can do anything in the face of vicious evil. Apparently not. The frogs have faltered. This is truly a dark day if the frogs could not save us. My goodness, the frogs really can't save us, can they? We are doomed. 
This is a lot of firepower coming at us. I mean, most of the firepower, I will admit, is not actually coming at us. It is just kind of like chilling down on the floor. So that if we are to ever slip up, we will be murdered to absolute death. Which is not the ideal situation, it has to be said. Hey, you! Don't you repair that. I ain't having any of that. I don't know what you think you're doing trying to fix up these disgusting robots, but they deserve to be dead down here. Pretty sure they don't agree, but I'm not 100% certain that they're sentient to begin with, so... Hard to tell if they can even have an opinion on the thing. Okay, there we go. Now that we've cleared the room, which admittedly took quite a bit of effort, a lot of time, um, we can take our sweet, sweet loot, which apparently it doesn't really matter what alarm level it's all at, you get the same amount of loot regardless, which I do not appreciate in the slightest. I would prefer to have significantly more loot for the much better um, alarm statuses, like, I don't know, some sort of like arm cannon for the more difficult areas. That appears to be a boss door. Um, that's a thing. Should we go in there? I mean, I guess we can repair ourselves by 50. Or I guess repair ourselves to full. And then, I don't know, let, let's actually go have a look. Let's see what we got going down here. What pretty stands behind the door? Um, oh, this does not look good. There are lasers. I don't like lasers. What do we have here? Hello, it's an actual Flagera. I think I mentioned the Flagera in this one. It's a nice boss from uh, Metroid Prime. Check it out, it's the Flower Dude. Just Google the Flower Dude from Metroid Prime. I'm sure, ow! Oh, it's a trick. It's a trick. It's trying to bring us in and murder our face. I do not appreciate that sort of disgusting trick. Do those explode now? Since when did they explode? I don't like that. It's really bad. I mean, it's really bad for my health. Like, maybe worse than, like, eating seven gallons of honey every day. Which I do not recommend anyone ever do. That is really bad for you. Rockets? Rockets? Missiles? Missiles? My word. Oh, some sort of, like, rain of death? I appreciate acid rain. I can understand. I can understand a man who enjoys a good acid rain. I cannot understand a man who enjoys a good spiky tentacle. That's actually kind of weird. Ow! Thank you for wrecking my face. I really appreciate that. That was exactly what I needed today. A wrecked face. Oh, this is not going well. I don't think we're going to beat it. I thought for a moment that we might be able to beat it. But, I mean, the current situation is pretty lackluster overall. We have very little health. It is very hard to dodge the acid rain. And the missiles are actually pretty effective as well. I mean, pretty much the vast majority of what we've got here is actually pretty effective at trying to murder us. Which, I mean, is good on them. Ow! Yeah, see? Really effective at murdering us. That's not the best. But we got it down to 976 health, so I feel like we have a pretty good chance of wiping it off the face of the earth if we try again. Look, I don't want to go onto that room. I want, I want to just spawn over here. That'd be nice. Thank you. Well, having seen the giant plant monster of death, that will bring us for now to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will probably not... I mean, I don't know. We might go after the uh, giant plant creature again, but we could also go down any of the offshot paths that we haven't traveled last time. So we'll see what goes down next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and of course, enjoy the rest of your day.